What's up guys, it's Jason X with my Facebook alert going off. It uh, is another episode, uh, no, another toy review. This is the Marvel Legends Infinite series from Spider-Man. This is the Skyline series Black Cat figure. And I'm very happy to get this figure. If you collect Marvel Legends figures, then you probably have the only Black Cat figure that's ever been offered in the old Toy Biz line. And this, this lady here is a huge improvement over that craptastic figure we got. So anyway, get her out of the way. And let's take a look at her packaging. We got uh, the Build-A-Figure collection. Got a Spider-Man emblem up here. Spider-Man right there. Got the Skyline Sirens. And the reason they say that, and you got some artwork of the Redhead here, which actually is different side artwork than the, uh, the Spider-Man box. And on the back, you've got uh, the Skyline Sirens here. Of course, you got Black Cat, but the trade out figure is going to be a little, uh, a rot um, I forget what Spider Woman's name now is. It's a Rochney. I can't pronounce it. But anyway, going to get a figure of her, so that's pretty awesome. And of course, down here at the bottom, you've got the Build a Figure Goblin there. And as you can see, there's the pack, there's the change out right there. So yeah, I'm going to go with the rest of these guys. I went on to pick these up today, but she is also one packed. Which is disappointing because this is a really good looking figure in obvious ways. Just go, <laughs> I have boobs at the camera. Anyway, uh, she does come with one accessory here. Uh, she comes with her cat's claw, which is very nicely done. Looks like a whip. Uh, nice braiding here on the plastic, ending with a little three pronged claw. And this actually comes curled in the box. I actually took a blow dryer to it for a little bit just because I wanted it to come out straighter. Yeah, and of course that just fits right in her hand. And she has really great hands, by the way. I need to show you that. So anyway, just throw that in there, and there she's got her little cat's claw. But as far as the figure itself, just great detail. I love how the fur around the boots and the cuffs is actually a different color than the white that's around the gloves and the boots. And like I said, she has really great hands. I love how she's got her claws out. Even this one with the claws out, and she can still grip her... Um, whip. Well, there you can see that different colored uh, fur there and you know let's face it Black Cat has awesome cleavage and this captures it well. So right, there's a look at the back. <laughs> I, I, I know this is gonna seem weird but I'm showing the butt because with that last Black Cat figure that had that weird butt articulation you know, that I hated and she just has a normal derriere which fits well with her uh, her articulation She's got, uh, her ankles are a little loose, I'll give her that, but otherwise it's a really good figure. There's no calf articulation here, but she does get a nice double knee joint there. Of course, a thigh swivel. Uh, she has, I don't even know if that's a ball joint there, because, yeah, it looks like a ball joint. It's just so, this is as much as you can get. So there will be no high kicking for Black Cat, which is very unfortunate. You know, she needs to kick people in the head. Unless she kind of like do something crazy. No, no. So that is kind of a downside. She does have some uh, torso articulation though. Nice ball joint in there. Only a single 90 degree on the elbow. The wrist just swivel. There's no back and forth here. She does have some nice ratcheted ball jointed shoulders. Then there's one thing that's wrong. Um, she has a ball jointed head, but if you turn this thing because of the hair, I mean, it's popping right off. If you just, see, it, and it pops off very easy. So she's going to be kind of a static figure, but she can get some nice poses. As long as you kind of move her hair and just make sure her head stays down. The hair is actually soft enough. Well, I'll just go ahead and, I mean, it's not too much back here, but because these are so small, it is very flexible. You can probably take a blow dryer to that too and just kind of flex it out a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm just happy because I can finally replace that black cat on my shelf with this very well done figure in this new Marvel Legends female buck. So I'm just go ahead and stand her up. Now, the reason I said it's unfortunate that she's one packed, not because just because she's, well, the hot black cat, she comes with a torso for the Green Goblin. So, 
Yeah, you're going to be stuck with a bunch of green goblin parts if you can't find her. And she's one per case. So, that's confirmed. i got to look in the case. Now, she did, uh, like I said, she comes with the torso. we got the arm with the other Spider-Man figure. So, we're going to just go ahead and perma-connect this thing. So, now we got a torso with an arm on fire. Sounds like a car accident. Anyway. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. This is the... Marvel Legends Infinite Series Skyline si Sirens Black Cat. Get this figure if you if you want a black cat for your Marvel Legends collection, you have to get this one. So until next time, guys, I'm Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks. Watch for a new episode of SCNS Live tonight on this channel. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.